Yes, people, welcome back. Today, another supplement review. I did a supplement review on a pre-workout a long time ago now. The video did quite well on the channel. So I just picked up a new pre-workout today. And today I'm gonna be talking, giving my honest review about the product, the good and the bad. I've only started taking it first day today. And usually I'll film the video after maybe a week or so, but I figured it was only right to start the video now because first signs of this product is not great, but let's get into it. So here is Labrada Nutrition Supercharge Pre-Workout. Okay, I went for the watermelon. I'll put the list of all the ingredients on the back of the product on the screen right now. It's got 350 milligram of caffeine, so similar to the Nitroflex pre-workout there that I um, reviewed before. Same sort of caffeine content. The rest of the stuff, like, I, like I've said before, I'm not that knowledgeable when it comes to what's in a pre-workout. I'm just giving my honest consumer opinion. I'm not sponsored by Labrad Nutrition or anything either. Uh, yeah, just give my opinion of how the product feels, how it is, how it tastes, and the price and everything like that. So, to start off with, I opened it up and it was full of lumps inside. I've gone for a watermelon taste and honestly, it smells like orange for some reason. I don't know why, but it is watermelon one. And when I poured it into my water bottle, as you can see, it looks like piss. So yes, it, we're putting it in our mouth, it's taste, it goes on taste, but first impressions was that looks like piss. Like if you've been on a night out or something and you drunk loads of alcohol and you get back and you forget to flush the toilet, that's what that looks like. Again, we're not, it's a bit of lumpy at the bottom. We're not going off just looks, but it's not really appealing when it looks like piss. Okay, taste wise. The consistency was horrible and I mixed it up really well, but it just didn't, it was like a bad aftertaste left in my mouth as well. And it doesn't, there's a hint of watermelon in it, but it tastes like orange, like, like an orangey watermelon. It just doesn't taste good at all. It's kind of like a pre-workout you just want to drink as fast as possible. I don't recommend dry scooping pre-workouts because I like to enjoy my pre-workout. It's something that I like to enjoy, taste, sip on you know but this thing i would definitely be dry scooping because it did not taste good at all i just wanted to get it down and get the effects from it i've drunk half of it now already so i'm going to take the rest now and then go and train and to be honest with you i'll probably just give you um come back to the video after that and give you the rest of my review now the day after so back to drinking the piss again see it looks like sick today yeah first impressions weren't great and it hasn't got too much better i got initial buzz when i first went to the gym started training but say other pre-workouts like for instance the nitroflex you have to compare it to other ones that you've used before if Nitroflex was getting me 80% of my work rate, like 80% I'm getting from it, this would be around 30%, even 20. I mean, I just had an initial buzz for like 10 minutes and a little bit of a boost in energy and then it just worn off. I don't know, even the caffeine content didn't really, really help me too much. Uh, I doubt Labrador are gonna be watching this video, but if they are and they want it, maybe there's been a problem with this particular pre-workout that I've got from themselves. I don't know if there was, if they want to send me out some more stuff, so I'll happily take it and tr try and test that out as well. But the, the first impressions on this one, I'm not gonna uh, buy it again. I'm pretty pissed that I have to use 50 servings of it, to be honest with you, it's, it's a bit annoying. I wish I could just get rid of it now and um, go and take a better one. And yeah, I mean the sleep, I, I slept pretty good even after taking a pre-workout and I took it fairly later on in, in the day. Normally I struggle to get to sleep at night after taking pre-workout late, but with this one I, I went to sleep fine. 
and yeah, it just, it's like a orangey taste to it. It doesn't mix well with water. I mean, it, it, it's just not good at all. Like Nitroflex pre-workout would be a nine and this would be a, probably a three. So that's my honest rating as a consumer. Like I said before, I don't go too much in depth into the ingredients and so on. I just like to take the pre-workout and feel and see what it does to my body during the, the training. And I don't feel like we need to do any more testing on this as... I Sorry, I hate to keep going back to Nitroflex, but that is the best pre-workout I've ever took. So you have to compare it with the best. And the, the, taking Nitroflex the first ever time I took it, I just, I don't know what the, what the hell they put in that product, but you just feel like this is something different. This hits differently. You know, it's like that workout is going to be so much better than if you took another pre or if you didn't take any pre at all. You know, it, it, the effects it has on your body is just so good. And with this, I didn't really feel much at all. And the taste is terrible. Uh, let's look into the price range. I think this come to 140 dirham, which is around about, I think, £30, which is not even on the cheap side when it comes to pre-workouts. It's probably around an average price, I guess. You're looking at 20 to £40 pound when, you, when you're going to buy a pre-workout. So this is probably in the middle of that range. I feel like... The, it's like clothing, you know, when you just spend a lot of money on a, on a, on a brand, branded clothing, but the quality is not just quite there sometimes. Um, that's what I feel like this is with this. They're using, um, obviously, Hunter LeBride and his dad, which is ex bodybuilders, like the brand, and they're pushing it, and they're saying that it's growing, and it's obviously, it's in Dubai, it's all around the world. They're shipping it all over the place, but I, I just feel like there is no way that Hunter Labrada is going to be using his own pre-workout, this pre-workout, when he, while he's training. He's not going to be doing that. And, I, and to be honest, I watch his videos, I follow him a lot, and I don't see him using the, his own pre-workout a lot, and that's probably the reason why, because it's not the best. The advantage of not being sponsored is that I can do these videos and just, just give my honest opinion. If, if, if I was sponsored by Labrad Nutrition right now, I'd probably be saying it's the best thing ever. So that's the advantage of not being sponsored where I am right now. Um, and yeah, I'm going to try probably buy another pre-workout, a different one, and I'll do another review on that on the channel. So if you've liked this video, smash the like button, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.